where I started out and where I thought first started thinking about becoming a music video director and actually that being a possibility was I studied illustration at the University of Brighton and I studied illustration rather than film because I never even thought becoming a film director was possible. It was before the days of YouTube, uh, before the films were really readily available online um, and so it, it, there was no it wasn't so accessible. Um, it wasn't so easy to get hold of a good camera that could create professional quality films like you can now. So I drew and then I made my drawings move. I made them animate. Um, and that's where I started. I started by just making my own music videos in my bedroom without the pressure of thinking that they'd ever go anywhere. Halfway through my course um, at Brighton, YouTube started. So I put my videos on YouTube and they started to get recognition. And then, um, then it became a reality just through an accident of putting stuff on YouTube in the very early days, things started to happen for me. Hello, my name's David Wilson and I'm the director of the music video for Let Go by the Japanese pop star. The main thing that keeps me motivated to just stay away from digital a, a fair amount is because whenever you look back kind of 10 years and look at what was amazing visual effects like in, in 2003, they look rubbish now. You can really see them. Whereas when they're physical effects, when you're looking at something, say like um, James Cameron's Terminator 2, because there's so much physical effects in there, all the effects still look amazing. Even though that was a real pioneering film for digital effects, that it was integrated so well with physical puppetry that it still looks great. I'm not averse to doing digital effects, but I feel like you can't solely rely on one thing or the other. You need to be merging all these things together to trick the audience. You don't want the audience to go, oh, I know how that was done. You go, oh, I think I know how that shot was done. But then the next shot was done a completely different way and it really, you know, throws them. We knew it, and we knew we only had a little while In the middle, in the middle, in the middle Just keep ticking over Before you know it, before you know it, before you know it Parent, parent When I started, I did this uh, music video for a guy called Murray McLaren uh, which is the one that kind of broke me through into the industry. It was all uh, physical animation done on spinning discs and turning uh, mirrored carousels. Between doing Murray McLaren and doing Japanese pop stars, that was about a year and a half, and it felt like a false start. Japanese pop stars felt like the real start. So... <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, that seemed to start going for me in the right direction. Japanese pop stars Keaton Henson, but then the big breakthrough was Metronomy. That was the first time I was able to have a two-day shoot. There wasn't that much money, but we really made it stretch. There was a lot of love for that band at the time. Um, the album was doing really well in the UK, uh, the whole crew were really into them. Um, I managed to win a com competition which meant that we could shoot on film. Uh, we managed to get loads of, um, of favours from the uh, English Riviera Tourism Company, who, um, which is where we shot. We shot in England, we shot in this place called Torquay in Devon. Um, and they really wanted to publicise the area as being a summer resort because you don't think of going on holiday in England. And so when we went with the treatment for the band then and said, can you help us make Torquay look amazing? They go, yeah, of course, like free hotels, like free locations, just come on down and we'll help you out, which is how that uh, video just got lifted into looking so much bigger than 
it actually was. With Tame Impala, there was no brief other than the band. I know that they said the band could be in it, uh, but I decided, well, they could, may or may not. It's, it, it doesn't seem to be a deciding factor, so I wrote this drama that is cr completely unrelated uh, to having a band performance in it. I'd spent a lot of time outside of the UK uh, before making that video, so when I came back, I really wanted to make something that used what was on my doorstep in the UK to uh, its full advantage and one thing that we've got a great access to is amazing public schools. <laughs> they're like amazing old hospitals or amazing old manor houses and they're really amazing buildings. So I wanted to use them in that kind of weird uh, all boy boarding school thing that we have as well. The bass line, well the guitar riff in that song was really striking and it's really sexy and so it was combining the boys boarding school and this really sexy uh, guitar riff that's how the kind of sexy school thing happened yeah <laughs> which, which makes sense <laughs> Hi, so uh, my name's David Wilson and I'm a music video director based in London.